over to Lisa Milner. Thank you, operator. Thanks, everyone, for calling in. We have a great call today to talk about the debut of PBC on CBS taking place next Saturday, April 4th, from the Pepsi Coliseum in Quebec City, Canada. Uh, we are going to start with uh, the main event, guys. It's John Stevenson, light heavyweight world champion, his trainer, Sugar Hill, Saki Obika, former super middleweight world champion, and his trainer, Kevin Cunningham. Uh, we will also have Archer Betterbiev later. Um, his uh, opponent is training in Spain, so he will not be joining us. But first, let's uh, get some opening comments from the fighters and their trainers. But Donna, uh, would you just give us a little bit of information on how training's going uh, leading into next week's fight week? Madonna, are you there? Yes, there. Okay, can you just um, give a quick opening comment to the media and just let us know how uh, training's going? I want to thank all the media and uh, I want to thank uh, Al Eamon, uh, wow. my, my, my manager. I do a great job and uh, this is a good opportunity for me and to fight on uh, CBS since like uh, AD, like Sugar Leonard, and Mama Halley. You know, this is amazing. And the first championship, uh, they want to start in Canada, Quebec City. This is amazing. And I'm very glad to, to be part of that. Great. Um, Sugar Hill, could you add anything to that about training or comments about how Adonis is doing camp? Um, this training camp is, is going fantastic. Uh, we are here in his hometown of Montreal uh, training at... His gym, uh, his gym is just opening, so this will be the first uh, training camp held at this gym, uh, and and for such a fight uh, of this magnitude, where Adonis is defending his world championship for the fifth time, um, I've only been here for one week and the other time, but uh, Montreal is a great place and uh, a great place for training as well. Um, uh, the city has been so good and uh, and warm, uh, welcoming me here, and uh, I see why uh, Adonis loves uh, Montreal, and, and I see why Montreal loves Adonis as well. Great, thank you, um, Sakio. Uh, could you give us yep. a quick opening comment about training camp? Oh, first of all, I want to thank you again, Ahmed. You know, to give me this big opportunity to fight for life every really world title. And then uh, here in, yes, I just here in Florida, I think my training camp is going very well. And then I want to thank God, you know, to give me this opportunity. Again, we have good training camp here. We have, like, a good weather. The weather is perfect. Everyone is happy. Um, I'm happy. My coach is happy. All my team, they happy. I'm just looking for on April the 4th, you know, to become two-time world champion and two-world division. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, are you there? Could you add anything to that? Yes, uh, um, to piggyback on what Saki has just said, we've had a tremendous training camp, uh, great sparring, uh, everything is going well. Uh, uh, Saki understands the opportunity that's before him and uh, we look to come to Canada and Montreal, and uh, we're going into Adonis's hometown. So I've, I've been there, done that, and and uh, you know, you got to go into the Lions Den and and, and 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 take the title. So and that's that's what we're working on doing, and that's what we plan on doing. Great, thank you. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and open it up for questions from the media. Uh, operator, can you please do that? If you'd like to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone keypad. Once again, that is star 1. And one this question, here's one for Adonis. Adonis, so much talk about you fighting the other light heavyweight champions and, and who the real light heavyweight champion of the world is. Uh, what are your thoughts about... Uh, these other guys, and is it interfering with your concentration for your fight with Takia on April 4th on CBS? Are you anyone who's looking past this guy? Because there's so much talk about 
future opponents with you? Yeah, I know they 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 have so much talking about 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 that, but uh, I'm very focused on BK now because uh, this is uh, BK is on my face now. I uh, I don't see Kovalev, I don't see anybody on my face now. It's BK, and I'm uh, I don't uh, underestimate him. Uh, I'm very prepared for him, and I will be ready for him uh, April four, and so. So my focus, my focus is on big guy. He's not. Uh, I know uh, they have so, so many people talking to me about uh, other fight this, but you know, uh, I'm very focused on on this guy. Okay, thank you. The first question comes from Jeremy Filoso with ninety-eight point five FM, Montreal. Hi guys, uh, thanks for taking the time, appreciate it. I was just wondering if there was anybody on the call that could just give me an update on ticket sales. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anybody online that has that information. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is. I don't believe so. Um, we can try and get that for you offline. Okay, uh, I'll ask Sakio a question, if he doesn't mind answering in French, because we're a French radio station here, we'd love to have the clip in French and we can translate after. Um, uh, Sakio, if you can answer in French, what do you remember from uh, from sparring with Adonis Stevenson when you came here uh, to face Luchan Bute? And, uh, you know, from what you've seen on the videos, uh, you know, how his evolution has gone since the time that you sparred with him when he was in his young career and now that he's a world champ. Thank you. Uh, merci, thank you. Uh, the first thing I would say is that I remember that I had a lot of sports when I was young. I had a lot of sports in Adonis, so I remember that I didn't know who it was, who it was. And it's good to inform me. Donc, euh, je ne peux pas réellement vous dire dont je ne me rappelle pas et en plus, dont je suis vraiment très concentré pour mon, com mon prochain combat à Donis. Peut-être que le 4 avril, vous verrez exactement si j'ai eu à faire le sport en avril ou si je n'ai pas eu à faire le sport en avril. Mais pour l'instant, je suis seulement concentré pour le 4 avril et c'est ça qui est vraiment très important pour moi. Ok, so uh, Sekio says that, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't remember that sparring session. It was too long ago and he just... He didn't know at the time that he, that this was Adonis, so he just he doesn't remember those five rounds that he he sparred with him, and he's concentrating on April the fourth. Okay, great. Um, next question, please. The next question comes from Matthew Boulay with Montreal jo Journal. Hi guys, uh, thanks for for the time uh, today. I want to know what is the procedure for drug testing be before the, the April 4th? Uh, for the drug test, so we do uh, uh, we do it two, three times in the training. Uh, and one time is uh, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, so so they come in to the, to the, to the condo and to do a uh, drug test and uh, the two times in the training. Uh, after aspiring, so the, the and so it's very good uh, like that, and uh, I think uh, uh, it's good for the for the boxers to protect uh, protect the boxer like that, and so I'm very glad about I'm very glad about that. And, uh, so in any ways, uh, in, when I, I, I get fight, and I always do the the the, the test, you know. So it's not the first time I do the test. But uh, I'm always to do it, and uh, this is a uh, this is uh, fantastic, and and uh, uh, I love that. Do you think, uh, Adonis, it was it was necessary for uh, for boxing that kind of test? Of course, it is necessary because you know is uh, is healthy for the for, for the boxer uh, first of all. You know, first uh, so it's very important. Uh, to make sure, uh, you know, everything uh, the, is very, is going very well, you know, and um, that's that's part of boxing, and the, that's the evolution and bo boxing uh, is very good, and um, that that's why I'm very glad, glad and happy, and support that. Okay. And uh, Saki, what do you think about that? I think it is very, very good because I have three times, you know, since the truth I've been here. 
I think it's good for you know for the new generation of people they don't need to take anymore. It goes for the sports, you know, everyone has to be clean. For me, I think it's a perfect, you know, it's a perfect uh, um, project, you know, to put over there, you know, because, you know, so many people after them and retire, they start to them with some job, and they never get tested. And then now, with new generation, I think it's very good, you know, for the young kid, you know, to try to say to one way, want to count any sport, they have to be clean. For me, I think it's a perfect, you know, it's a perfect organization, you know, to bring people to get them involved, you know, to test people when they have a big fight. For me, I think it's a perfect, it's a, it's a perfect, it's a perfect thing to do. So, so you, you, both of you will be test three times, two times during the training camp, one time, one time before the before the fight. Is that correct, guys? Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will get three times. Time. For me, it's three times, and uh, we do a piss test and we do blood test too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And for me, it was three times, and then two blood tests, and uh, uh, like the blood tests and piss tests. This is the third time, and then testing me, then the three that was here. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. The next question comes from Michael Lamarche with French Service of the Canadian Press. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, the first question that was that, that was asked to uh, Don is about his uh, preparation for the upcoming fight and uh, also the distraction around uh, around all future potential opponents. I would like to get to ask the same question to Adonis again. I would like to get an answer in French, however. Uh, so, uh, Adonis, est-ce que tu pourrais nous, nous dire un peu uh, jusqu'à quel point il, il peut y avoir de la distraction, le fait qu'on qu qu parle déjà de combat avec Kovalev, alors qu'il y a d'autres combats qui, qui, il y a un autre combat qui s'en vient avant? Uh, je sais que tout le monde parle de, de, de Kovalev pour d'autres combats potentiels, mais comme on peut se mentionner en anglais, je suis vraiment euh, concentré sur euh, Sakyo Bika. Euh, c'est lui, présentement, qui est dans ma figure. Ce n'est pas d'autres personnes, ce n'est pas Kovalev, ce n'est pas aucune autre personne qui est là. C'est euh, euh, Sakyo Bika qui est là. Alors, est, je ne le sous-estime pas et c'est pour ça que j'ai fait un entraînement euh, vraiment... Euh, extraordinaire parce que je sais que euh, il va venir à Montréal, euh, il va essayer de gagner, puis euh, c'est sûr et certain que tous les boxeurs qui, qui vont se battre avec moi, mais ça va être toujours la même affaire, fait que euh, je suis vraiment c'est pour ça. Est-ce que, uh, Adonis, uh, follow-up question, I'm going to ask it in English so that people Wait, can understand. Sir, sir, can you... Okay. Um translate what he just said? Or yeah, uh, yeah, well, he, he said exactly the same thing he had said earlier in, uh, in the first question that was asked about the fact that uh, uh, Bika is the, is, is, a, is the one he has in his face right now. But I just want to ask Adonis, and again, I'd like to have an answer in French. Um, are there any parts of his style of boxing that uh, you have to be wary about? Um, est-ce qu'il y, est qu y a des éléments de son style qui peuvent être inquiétants? Euh, euh, you talk in, in French, in je vais avoir une réponse en français à donner, sinon je la traduirai. OK. Euh, a, écoute, euh, c'est sûr qu'il y a un style large. Et puis, euh, c'est sûr que euh, euh, mon entraîneur, ça fait deux fois qu'il qu l'a affronté. Qu euh, Anthony l'a affronté, Anthony Dallo l'a affronté. Et puis, euh, c'est un gars qui est, qui est large, puis dans, dans ses cours. Alors, c'est sûr et certain qu'il euh, ne pourra, pourra pas toujours euh, lancer large comme ça, puis foncer comme un taureau. Euh, ces styles-là, je, styles je peux les capitaliser assez rapidement. Est-ce que tu peux peut-être donner la même réponse en anglais pour euh, le bénéfice des, euh, des autres journalistes de langue anglaise? Uh, you know, a can of star like a big cat. Uh, he's a wild and he's strong. He's, he, he come, you know, he he just keep coming and kind of stuff like that. Uh, I love this kind of stuff because he's large and keep pressing. And so he sure uh, if he if he make a mistake like that, it, it would be very knock. He would be knocked out very very soon in the in the in the fight. Thank you. Jake Donovan with BoxingScene.com. Uh, yeah, 
actually, my question is for Sugar Hill. Uh, Sugar, I know uh, previously before Bika was picked as the opponent, you were kind of particular in who would fight Adonis Stevenson. I just wanted to know if you were pleased with the style that was chosen for this upcoming fight, if this is the type of test you were looking for as a trainer. Um, as far as looking for a style for uh, Adonis to, to fight next, it doesn't really uh, matter to me. I'm, I'm happy with the selection of Sakio Bika. Uh, I have no problem uh, with uh, his style. Um, I actually like the style because he's coming forward. He, he wants to fight, and Adonis loves to fight. Uh, you know, Adonis likes to go toe to toe, and he likes to box. So uh, this is uh, important, uh, you know, for the the maturity and the uh, you know for Adonis learning more about boxing to be able to to be in it with a fighter like uh, Saki Obiga, who is a strong, uh, determined, and 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 tough veteran. Uh, uh, you know, who can withstand. Uh, you know, he, he can take a punch. He's never been knocked out or anything like that. So this is, a, you know, this is a, an opportunity for Dallas to maybe go 12 rounds or, you know, into later rounds, which can uh, build and add to his uh, career as, uh, you know, fighting in later rounds, which, uh, you know, he was able to do against uh, Finn Farrer. So this this fight here with uh, Beaker is, is, a, is a test. And I, Dallas loves to be tested, and I love him to be tested uh, as well. Um it's the only thing that's going to make him grow and become uh, more of a talented fighter and uh, become a bigger superstar. Right, cool. Thanks, Sugar. I appreciate that. Um, Adonis, I guess for you, you just feed off what Sugar said. Um, are you looking at a tough 12-round fight, or do you see it as motivation as to, you know, being the first to knock this guy out if that opportunity presents itself? Uh, it's a motivation for me. Uh, that's why I train him very hard. I know he's large as well and his punch, and he, want, uh, and he keep, keep pressure. So I love kind of style, and you know, if you go for 12 rounds, I'm ready for 12 rounds. Anyways, I fight and sparring. My fight is, you know, when I'm sparring and training, is for 12 rounds. Yeah. Yes, to make the man you said, knockout fail, you know? <laughs> right. Oh, so when I get in the rain, I'm looking for, for the knockout. I don't look for, for the 12 rounds. If you go to the distance for the 12 rounds, it's not a problem. I can box, uh, I'm beautiful, I got a good skill, uh, you know, uh, I'm a superman. So it's not, a, it's not a problem for me. But first, uh, I'm looking for a knockout. And I think any boxer go in the ring to fight, they, they always look for a knockout. You know, uh, sometimes it's not like that, but me, I'm looking for a knockout. And that's Emmanuel said, knockout sell. Okay. All right, great. Thank you very much, Donis. Uh, best of luck next week. The next question comes from the line of Dante Williams, BoxingTalk.com. Hey, hey, Donis. How you doing? I wanted to ask you, uh, you said that you weren't impressed with Kovalev's performance over John Pascal. Do you want to put on a better performance? Do you feel pressured to put on a better performance since you said that? Uh, what do you think about that? Look, I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna put a pressure on me. Uh, Superman, Superman don't put pressure on me. You know, I, I'm gonna use my boxing skill, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my head in the ring, and uh, so I don't, I don't have to put pressure on and something like that. I don't feel, I don't, I don't feel like that. I'm the man of the division. I'm the man. I'm the, I'm the guy to get beat. Okay, and was um so in Rain Magazine champion and WBC, uh, that that's Adonis is the man and the and the at the, the right heavyweight. Okay, and was um Saki Obika the first opponent they offered to you? If this the first opponent, uh, 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 Al Heyman and you know PBC series was was that the first uh, opponent they presented to you? Um, I, I believe it was. Yeah, he was. He was the first. He, he was the first to open the the. So so uh, so we are happy and we don't have a problem. And I know Kesaku. He was a light light uh, super super middleweight champion. So uh, he's very good because he he's, he's, good, he's a good he's a good boxer too because uh, uh, he was a champion uh, like last two fights, you know. And said, so that's a good opportunity for him too. 
to go and become a light heavyweight and to fight me. And it's a good opportunity for me too. Oh, okay. And just one last question. Uh, I'm not overlooking uh, Saki Obika, but let's say you get past him. I, I want to ask you, at what point did you say to yourself, I have to fight or I want to fight Sergey Kovalev to unify all the belts in the division? At what point did you say that in your, your career? You know, because the problem now, I, I, I don't, because I, I don't think about Kovalev now. I think of uh, Bika. So it doesn't matter what I'm said now. What I'm said now is uh, because I have a fight coming up with uh, Bika. Uh, but you sure I want to unify the title. But now, for now, uh, I, I got Bika on my face. So okay. I, I, I don't. I'm not gonna think about unify. That that's after. But now is uh, Bika. <laughs> Okay, thank you for your time, Jeff. Thanks. The next question comes from the line of Dan Raphael with ESPN. Thank you very much. Hello, Adonis. Hey, Dan. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. I, I want to ask uh, about uh, somebody else had uh, asked you about the fact that you had stated that you were not that impressed with the way that Kovalev looked uh, in the fight uh, the other week against Pascal. I'm wondering uh, why, because he, he did knock down Pascal for the first time in his career. He was the first guy to ever score a knockout uh, against Pascal. Uh, what was it that, that didn't impress you about that? Because nobody had ever done that before. I'm not impressed about the, the, because Pascal is, uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this is the first big fight he has, like uh, Bernard Kian. And if I if I to uh, if I to, uh, one time in a year before uh, Ben Hopkins, uh, so it's four years he fight one time. So that's why uh, uh, I'm not impressed about that uh, because Pascal um, he's not he's not an active boxer like he used to be uh, back in the day. So 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 that's why uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not impressed about uh, this performance. Okay, now, I, like you said in your last, uh, the last questioner, uh, that you do have a, a very uh, durable and tough opponent like Saki Obika in front of you right now for the fight uh, on April 4th. But, you know, you do know that Kovalev, because of the WBC, is going to be your mandatory. I wonder how hard will you press for that mandatory if uh, you're successful again? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I want to know how hard... Would you press for the mandatory with Kovalev uh, if you're successful against Biggie? Because that's supposed to be uh, the mandated fight after this. Of course, uh, I know. So these are a problem for me. Where I'm, re I'm ready and to unify the title. But uh, I'm let uh, I'm let my team. Uh, I'll aim them to care about that uh, for for everything. So you sure you sure uh, now is uh, Biggie. Then, uh, then after that, uh, Kovalev, uh, we can uh, unify the title. It's not a problem for me because, uh, you know, the the two title he get now, uh, he got he got Bernard Hopkin title, and he, uh, I should fight the Bernard Hopkin. Bernard is very go to HBO, fight him, but the title now, I should have the title. I have one other question for you about the uh, upcoming event on April fourth, uh, Adonis. Uh, this is a fight that, uh, and I missed the first couple minutes of the call, so I, maybe this was already asked. I don't know. Um, this is a fight that's going to be on national television in the United States, free TV. It's not. It's not on uh, cable or even or premium cable, where you know you've been used to fighting on, uh, you know, HBO, Showtime, the, the yeah. subscription networks. This is on a channel that everybody, if you have a TV, you can get. So there's a chance for lots of people to see uh, the Superman punch. Um, have you given any thought about the fact that you'll be performing in front of an audience probably bigger than has ever seen you fight ever? Oh, of course. Uh, this is a good, uh, good opportunity for that. And uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Al Eamon for that too, because uh, you know Al Eamon, uh, that's that's him to put uh, the the show. And uh, since uh, Muhammad Ali and uh, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, back in the day, it was uh, free, and now. 
Uh, we offer uh, the public uh, a free uh, uh, the fight, and that's the great opportunity for me and to, to have a good performance uh, and Sakubika. But I know Sakubika is, is a tough opponent and he's very uh, awkward and uh, tough. So we prepare for that and we're ready for that. And so that's very good for, for the young, for the kid. He's going to watch the, the fight and... Uh, and it's a, it's a good it's a good opportunity for for everybody. And so, with that big potential audience watching, wouldn't that put you in a position where, you know, I know you'll take the knock if you can get it, but wouldn't that be even a bigger feather in your cap to be the first guy to to stop Dika and do so in front of a big audience? Because you get a big knockout in front of a huge audience like that, you're going to get a lot of people really excited to want to see more of Donna Stevenson. So, is that at all in your mind about uh, getting everybody all? Which, pumped up about your future fights with a big knockout? Oh, of course, you know, uh, of course, the, that, you know, that gave me a lot of motivation. That's why I trained very hard for this fight uh, and watch, uh, people watch me and the kid and, you know, fans like Mohamed Ali and uh, I'm, I am the first to be part and uh, the, 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 the project, so, so I'm very, very happy and uh, I'm going to put uh, a, a, good, a good performance. Like uh, Emmanuel said, uh, knockout fell, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, Adonis, thank you very much. I wish you good luck. Thank you. I know we have three more uh, people in line to ask questions, but I just have a couple quick questions. One for Adonis. Adonis, where are you training this week? Yeah, and uh, when, when are you actually going to Quebec City? Uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm up in a new gym in Quebec City, and so this is a good uh, opportunity for me uh, to train in my hometown. This is the uh, the first time since uh, 2011, so uh, this is a good opportunity for me. So uh, uh, I can see uh, my kid. My kid too, so uh, so I, I love that, and uh, we train we train very hard. Uh, me and my, my trainer, uh, so we put the hard work pay off. We put a lot of work about that. Uh, this is a this is a different. This is a good opportunity for me. You know, and I love that. Okay, so you're you're in Quebec City now, then. I'm in Montreal now. I'll come back see I'm going to this week. So, like, on Friday, this Friday, you're going to still be training in Montreal and then going to Quebec City? Yeah, it's two hours from Quebec City. Oh, okay. So, when will you actually go to Quebec City? Uh, uh, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, and, and a quick question for uh, Kevin and Sakio. Uh, how do you prepare for such a hostile environment? that you guys are going to be going into when you fight Adonis. Takio's always, you know, fighting on the road, it seems. But this kind of environment where Adonis is such a popular hometown favorite, do you prepare any differently for that, or how do you prepare for the kind of environment you're going to have to fight in? Uh, thank you for your question. The program is, you know, first of all, I want to say for all the, you know, this press conference for all, Everyone, all the journalists have been part of this, you know. This was about Sato Bika, you know. I don't know, it wasn't about Kobole, it wasn't about nobody. And nobody never gave me no respect or no credibility, you know, to say exactly, you know. To talk maybe more about Sato Bika, because when they're talking about Kobo, about maybe Steven Sonoma, about Kobo, you know, I've been in this business a very long time, and somebody never, like, maybe afford the best part of the world, you guys are keep busy, and with all these people. I mean, nobody never tried to give more respect say, okay, what exactly, what exactly go on about Sarko Bika and Adonis? To try to give them more credit to people that always say, oh, what Adonis fighting, you know, over the world. Man, you know, I don't need to say too much, you know. Man, everyone just being prepared, you know. April 4, you will see. Maybe people in Timothy Adonis, the Superman, maybe can know me as. Okay, if you have that part, you know me as, maybe we come and know me as. I want to say for all that journalists, you know, that maybe they need to do, maybe they can homework very properly. To try to say this is about Sakubika Adonis. It's not about Sakubika Kobole. It's not about Sakubika everybody. I don't know why they have to pull me and they back full of baby. You know, I've been in this business. I've the best part of the world. You know, 
I'm getting for what you do, you know, to trust your partner, not having to fight Adonis. They're supposed to ask me exactly how my profession going, you know, how can I take this fight? Then maybe people can see maybe I'm just coming to Canada, maybe to get knocked up. Okay, then I'm coming to get knocked up, maybe being ready on April for you with fear. And thank you again, everyone, to being part of this conference. I appreciate that. Kevin? Yeah, well, all I want to say is I thank this, thank the media on this conference call for getting my fighter fired up. I don't have to do it because you guys have done it for me. And, you know, he feels disrespected. He, even, he don't even see the reason why he needed to be on the conference call because the conference call was basically about Stevenson and Kovalev. So you guys helped me out in terms of motivating my fighter, and I appreciate it. We aim to please, Kevin. Thanks. <laughs> the next question comes from the line of Michael Lamarche with French Service of the Canadian Press. Uh, it's, uh, again, my question goes to Adonis. Um, I just want to know if uh, a knockout is um, the result that you absolutely need, or would you be disappointed if you didn't win by knockout against Nika? Uh, I know Bika is a tough opponent, so I'm I'm prepared for 12 rounds. So if the knockout is, is there, is there, it's not, not, but uh, I'm really uh, looking for the knockout. So so it doesn't matter for me, but uh, I'm always looking for, for the knockout. That's in the, you know, that's a crunk. The crunk gym and my team, uh, we're looking for, for that. And, and, you know, since the crunk uh, is, has been a while, and so they, they're always looking for the knockout. If you're, if you're training in the crunk gym, and, you know, any fighters are going to looking for the knockout. But it can be dangerous to always be looking for a knockout because then if you don't get it as quickly as you want, then you can get away from your style of boxing. Is that something that worries you? <laughs> but we can go 12 rounds. It's not a problem for me. We, we train for that. We train for that. I can go to Avon and I'm from, you know, uh, Crown Gym, Crown Gym, Detroit. And this place, this place, uh, we have we have a good, good, good trainer. And like Emmanuel Schwartz, Sugar Hill, they, like, they know, they know boxing. And we, we so they, they teach me very well, uh, my skill and everything and my balance. They teach me very well. They know boxing and uh, they, so, you know, if the knockout is not there, but we're going to we're gonna work. We're going to use uh, the um, good ability uh, for 12 rounds. It's not a problem. Est-ce que c'est possible d'avoir un résumé de la réponse en français, s'il te plaît, Denis? Par la même question? Oui. Tout ce que je viens, ben, c'est... J'ai été euh, mon mentor, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Seward, avec euh, Sugar Hill, c'est de, 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 Détroit. Alors, euh, cette place-là, euh, euh, Crown Gym, euh, tous les, les, les combattants là-bas, c'est en knockout. On regarde toujours pour le knockout avant tout. Et puis, si ça, ça va à la 12, 12e ronde, mais ça ça pas la 12e ronde, mais on a assez d'habilité et puis on s'est assez boxé pour aller jusqu'en 12 rounds aussi. C'est pas un problème. Merci beaucoup, Adonis. Thank you. Comes from the line of Jake Donovan with BoxingScene.com. Uh, yeah, actually, my questions are for um, Saki Obika, which I wanted to ask earlier, but I was trying to play fair and let everyone else ask questions. Um, Saki, I just want to know how does it feel for you in this training camp to train for a light heavyweight fight after having spent pretty much your entire career at a uh, super middleweight? You know, for me, I see, you know, I see the, the new challenge, you know, to go up in light heavy, you know, to try to fight the big ball because when you see. You know, my regime, you know, when I was fighting on 168 pounds, you know, nobody never wanted to find me. Nobody no wanted to tell me to find me, you know. And I always, I went to the birth, you know, and, I, you know, it was always a little, little bit difficult, you know, to people to find me because people, no one, no one to find me, no one, no one to handle that pressure. To me, to me, I feel a heavy and fat, Steven Sardonis, you know, for me, it's a big challenge because Steven Sardonis, you know, is a great boxer, you know. To here to become a world champion, a lot of you know, it's not everyone, you know, it's not people. But for me, it's just a big challenge to try to see myself, you know. Can I handle the big ball? I'm very sure I can handle that, you know. 
and kind of helpful for you know because I had a, I had a good preparation, you know, the great sparring partner, you know. I'm just looking for you know helpful for you know to try to see you know how can I handle the big boy and heavy, you know. And Adonis is the first one. Maybe I can lie heavy, you know, and fight him. For me, I just feel confident, you know. I feel positive and and I feel as you know I'm ready, you know, to go there and show the people in the world, you know, I can beat Adonis Stevenson in April four. And that was, you know, I'm sitting with my manager, I may say, you know, I want to test the big boy, I want to be up and lie heavy, you know. And that was, you know, I get this opportunity, you know. And April four, people in BCS, you know, I'm prepared, I'm positive, I'm very sure, you know, I will tell the WBC what I took part for Adonis. Well, well, does the weight feel better for you, or is it just a matter of, like you said, you know, no one was willing to, to fight you in the past few months, and now you've just taken this opportunity? Like, do you see yourself being uh, a light heavyweight? I see myself, you know, I see myself as, you know, less, a lot of heavyweight, you know, I see myself as a lot of heavyweight, because sometimes, you know, you see so many blood champions, you know, maybe, uh, you know, class weight, you know, fighting some other people, you know. And for me, it's just a, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a challenge. I want to challenge myself, you know. I can do that heavy, easy, you know. I don't have to struggle, you know. I want also a little bit struggle to do super weight. You know, I can do that heavy very easy. For me, just to, you know, the opportunity is there, you know, just to show the people, say, can I handle the big ball, you know, because I, I handle everyone in uh, 168 parts, you know. And when I have one fight, 168 parts, I have one fight, nobody don't want to fight three months. You know, this is a big opportunity to me to try to see can I handle the big ball? Can I handle Adonis? You know, and Adonis is a big punch. I put and say, you know, and coming April 4th, you know, I will try to test myself. You are ready? Yes, I'm ready. I guess I'm not ready. You know, I have a good preparation, you know, we train very hard for this fight, you know. I'm just looking for, for the next week, you know, to come to Quebec, you know, and settle down, you know, and get ready, you know, to show what exactly, you know, what I was doing in the gym, you know. For all my training camp, you know, I'm just, I'm ready, you know, to do, to go there and do my business, taking care of my business. All right, great. Thank you very much, Saki. I'll best of luck next weekend. Thank you. The next question comes from the line of Chris Guns with 15rounds.com. My question is for Adonis. And Adonis, I know you said that Saki is in your face right now. But at the same time, you were at the Sergey Kovalev Jean Pascal fight, and you went over to HBO commentator at the time, Bernard Hopkins, and you told him that you guarantee that you will fight Sergey Kovalev. I wanted to see, I wanted to see what your answer was to what you think of Sergey Kovalev and his performance on Saturday night a couple of weekends ago. Uh, you know, you know, uh, I don't, not, now uh, I think about Ike, you know, but, but you know, that's uh, the conference call we, we're doing now is for Ike, you know, so, um, you know, uh, what I'm thinking about Kovale, Pascal, it doesn't matter now because, uh, now, uh, you know, we talk about Dika and uh, I got to fight April 4 but, uh, with Dika. So I don't know. Uh, it's better talking about Dika and what I'm thinking about this, this guy because now it's not important now what I'm thinking but what, what, what I'm thinking about the, the fight with Kovalev and Pascal, and then after I said, well, yeah, I'm going to fight. It's not, a, it's not a person for me now. The very important now, he guys on my face. And that's, that's him. Now I, I, I think really now. And, and Deacon's, Deacon's a great guy. He's a great fighter. He's a great opponent. Yeah. But you, you guaranteed that your next fight would be against Kovalev back in May <laughs> of last year after oh, she won 12 rounds against Fonterra. You, you beat Fonterra, you won a 12-round unanimous decision, and you guaranteed that your next fight would be against yeah uh, against Kovalev. Right. So, so you know, what, what, what could you yeah, about Kovalev? You can you can guarantee it's not working like that. He's not football. He's not hockey. You know, 
and one punch can change anything. So I can, so you, you know, uh, now I've, I get, I get big on my face, and uh, I'm very, I'm very focused with, I'm very focused with Bika because I know this guy. Uh, uh, he, he gave a problem uh, all the champion. He was a champion, and I know uh, he's, 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 this fight is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, Sasha Rico's a tough guy. He definitely takes a good punch. But he can take a punch. And the people, the people want to see the, the unification. That, that's what people want to see. They want to see one champion. Okay. okay. All right, thank you, sir. Um, we're going yeah, to move on. What the fuck are we doing here, man? Yeah, sorry. Oh, we're going to move on to you. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, Okay. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. I think this call really set in motion a great uh, couple weeks heading in, week and a half heading into that fight. So thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Um, we're going to switch over to...